Welcome back to Bathologic Classic HD. I think I know which one of the Watchers is the liar. I believe it's the Knots Watcher. But before I deal with that, there's quite a few other things I need to do. So we've just spoken with the Inquisitor, Aglaia. And as it turns out, she's apparently related to Maria Cana. And apparently there's some bad blood between them. And Aglaia wants to meet with Maria, but Maria does not want to see Aglaia. So, Aglaia has asked me to speak with Maria to see if I can convince her to have a meeting with Aglaia. So first thing out of the door, I'm going to go over to Maria's place, see if I can do that. Then, most likely after that, I'm going to head to Peter's place to tell him the good news about the fact that the Inquisitor has has basically let him off the hook. He no longer has to be the cremator. So give him the good news, see if he'll perhaps give me the mask and suit of the executors that I was looking for. And then after that, who knows, I guess probably go accuse the Knots Watcher of being the liar. Depends what happens. Something might happen along the way that will change my plans. The big thing, though, is that I've only got about three hours until the end of the day, so I need to do this fast. No deviating, no stopping at stores, no stopping for anything. Just straight to my goals. Let's do this. So out the door, let's go to Maria. I really hope there isn't a lot of back and forth between Maria and Aglaia. I really don't have time to be doing that. Yes. It turns out that Aglaia Lilich is your relative. I didn't know that. Yes, she is the younger sister of my lovely mother. And there is not a single person in the world who would hate my mother more viciously than she does. She claims to be fond of you. She hates me for my mother's magical power. I know what she wants. She wants to see if I resemble my mother or not. Oh, she won't leave me alive. Especially now that mother's many-colored power has begun to awaken inside me. She'll know. She'll feel it. What if you manage to influence her so much that the Inquisitor starts acting in our favor? No, I do not think so. Consider it a whim, but I'm incapable of doubting my premonitions, else too many people will suffer. It may be a superstition, I may be imagining all this, but I won't let her in, ever. You are holding a key, as if you were about to leave. Where to? Oh no, I wasn't planning on going anywhere. And who are you to forbid me anyway? You're a bad liar. I think I'm going to tell your father about that. Oh no, please don't tell Dad. He must not be disturbed now. Don't go there. He must not get distracted. Today is memory day. You've piqued my curiosity. Wait, that's it? What is on Maria's mind? Where did she go, in disregard of all my prohibitions? It appears she was careless enough to let her father in on her plan, and that he told her to forget about it at once. Great souls are not those who have fewer passions and more virtues than the common. Alright, let's go speak with her dad, I guess. Sorry if I'm disturbing his memory time. But yeah, I really hope there's not too much back and forth. I don't have time. Ah, uh, I got about three hours. No, we got about two hours and something minutes. Two hours and like 40 minutes, I think, we have. That does it. I'm gonna break soon. Your daughter intends to go out into the town. Are you aware of her plans? I am. I've forbidden it. It appears that she's ignored that prohibition. Maria doesn't listen to me anymore. There's not that much left of me anyway. 
Perhaps something will change when her mother comes back. Wait, I thought her mother was dead. What? What's her business in town? I think she was going to see the architects. Andre or Peter. Peter, most likely. She needed to know something about the tower. About the inner workings of some chambers, I believe. She's particularly concerned about it now. Because of Simon's memory fading. Huh. It's coincidental, because I was about to go see Peter anyway to give him the good news. And Peter's working on something. He said he just needs, what, like three days or until Friday? I think it was three days until Friday. Three days to finish his greatest creation. Or if that has any connection. Should I say that I'll force her to meet with Aglaia? Nah. The streets are dangerous as hell. And you are so indifferent. And they said Lilich had restored order in the streets with an iron fist. Is it true that they've erected a gallows near the railway? Probably. Speaking of Aglaia Lilich, she's been seeking an audience with Maria. I don't think any good will come of that. Aglaia has always been a mean little girl. But you know, I've always believed that people can and do change for the better. Every time an enemy of mine returned after a prolonged absence, I welcomed them with open arms. You are a generous person, Victor, and a bit of a dreamer. Pardon my lack of ceremony. The true way to be deceived is to think oneself more knowing than others. Is today the last chance for the father to see his beloved daughter? Could it be that the most reasonable of the town rulers is drifting towards expiration? Doesn't look like it. Rather, it seems quite the opposite. But then, what does he mean? And Maria, what would she possibly want with Peter Stamaton? Hmm. Yeah, Victor seems to think he was about to die. And that Maria's mother would be coming back, and I, I thought she was dead. Okay, well, looks like we have two quests to go see Peter Stamaton. Let's go, no time to spare. Very, very, very short on time. Can make another perma save. Quickest way there would be across this bridge, up here, and then straight to the right. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Of course the plague rat's on me. Why not have two? I'm starting to feel like I really might run out of time for the day. 
I might have to reload a safe and just focus on the main quest and forget these side quests. But that'd be such a shame. Well, let's not think about that yet. There's still time. I'm hoping the end of the main quest is simply to go accuse the Watcher. And then maybe after that, report back to the Inquisitor. I think, I think there will be time for that. But if there's any more to the quest, I think I might be screwed. I want to check the time, but when you check time, time doesn't stop, so it's not worth it. Not yet. When I hear the ding, I think that means I've got two hours left. I think. Should I go to the left? It's probably faster to go to the left. Yeah. See Maria. How much time? Yep, just about to be two hours Bad left in the day. Bad makes your head wooden. Good. Peter, Peter, can you hear me? You are not the master of cremations and burials anymore. Oh, how appropriate, old boy. So I can get back to work now. Take the mask. I will have no need of it for now. Although I could use it to mix ink. It's a little bit more useful to me. Working in this condition is useless, though, isn't it? Okay, got a lens thing for my thingy, plus a mask. So did that finish the one quest? The mask one? Well, that's weird. The quest still says... I need to let Peter know as soon as possible, but I've just let him know, and the quest didn't finish. Bizarre. Okay, done, done. So, I, I mean, the Ava quest is done. The Peter Stampton quest, I guess, is done, even though it doesn't seem to, be, seem to be marked as such. Family meeting, I still need to do. And how come I can't ask him about Maria? So, the Inquisitor is a woman. For real. That's... bizarre. Uh, I guess there's nothing more I can do for now. Alright, well... Time is going to pass while I'm reading these descriptions, but that's fine. I'm just going to reload my save. Lenses. Oh. Seems I can't actually put the lens in, because it's already maxed out. Alright, well that's good. And what about this? Talon Mask. A theatrical mask shaped like a bird's head. Stands for Deception and Traps in Mime Performances. Such masks are worn by those who wish to remain incognito. Executors put aromatic antiseptics inside the beak. Provides no protection from infection. Alright, well I can put it on, so hopefully... Hopefully that'll be enough... To make the executors give up the person who's actually responsible. I think I know the person who's actually responsible for lying. I think I know which watcher that is. I still think it's the one in the knots. But perhaps this will guarantee it? I don't know. I can only hope. I'm weirded out by the fact that Maria isn't here, and I can't mention anything about Maria to Andrew. You're close. Just to be sure, she's not, like, hanging around here, is she? Just want to be absolutely sure. Nope, she's not. Weird. Okay, well, just reloaded my save. Just talk to him again. Got the stuff again. I guess I'll just put on the mask right now. Yep, let's do it. 
No time to spare. No time to spare. Maria's not here. Can't ask him about it. Don't know why. Whatever. We've got things to do. Let's go to the Knots Watcher and go accuse him. We've got just about two hours. Two hours and two minutes. I always say I'm never going to check the time, but then I do anyway. I have to know. Yep, the ding means we have exactly two hours. Perhaps I should speak with Maria about... Peter Stamaton? I thought I was supposed to go there and catch her at Peter Stamaton's place, but... Well, apparently not. Okay. Uh, this watcher is behind the town theater. Yes, yes. If this is the wrong watcher... I'm fucked. Because as Aglaia said, I only get one shot at this. Please don't throw firebombs at my face. Please, please. I'd really appreciate it, thanks. Ah, uh, so many things to dodge. Hold on. Let's ditch the rats. Okay, moment of truth. I hope I've solved the riddle correctly, or by wearing the mask that that negates the need to solve the riddle. Let's hope. Here we go. Wait a minute. Oh! By putting the mask on, does that allow me to ask a second round of questions? <gasps> it does! Fuck, but I don't have time to go back to all of them and ask them questions. Okay, can I confirm this with one question? So, this is the Knots Watcher. Originally, the Knots Watcher said the Stone Watcher is the wishy-washy half one. If I ask them about that person again, that will confirm... It? Right? Right? Would it confirm it? I don't think it would confirm it. What if I ask them what they are? Would that confirm anything? Hmm. Okay, so I could ask them about the Earth Watcher. But all that would do is just confirm what I already know. It wouldn't give me any new information. Because if they say the Earth Watcher is anything but the half one, the wishy washy one, that just confirms that this one in the knots is the liar. If they say that they are the wishy-washy one, the half one, then that would... That would... Wait, what would that mean? I, l let's just try it. That's the one, the liar and the traitor. Okay. So Knots says stone is half, and also says earth is liar. Hmm... Okay, well, I thought about this for an excruciatingly long time. And after asking this executor a question and then talking to them again, that's when I realized, apparently because of the mask that I'm wearing, I'm assuming, I can actually ask the executors as many questions as I want. Which one of, the, which one of those are you? I'm honest. Again, which one of the three was a stone yard watcher? The one who does both. So I can ask them as many questions as I want. So with that fact in mind, I realized, okay, I should probably go and ask every single executor about every single other executor. So I did that, and I didn't have enough time to do that and actually still finish the day, so what I did is I just went to each watcher, wrote down what they said, and then I just reloaded my save game back here, to the nonce watcher. So, maybe a little bit cheap, because I did, I did do things that I shouldn't have had time to do. 
but I've never looked up any walkthroughs or anything like that to solve this, so I still need to solve the riddle, I guess. Anyway, after taking down everybody's answers, I came to the same conclusion that I originally came to, which is it's the Knots Watcher that is the liar. And the only thing I can say with absolute 100% certainty, based on everything that I've seen, is that the Earth Watcher cannot be the honest one. The Earth Watcher can absolutely not be the honest one, because the Earth Watcher gave me two different answers. So that means they either are the half one, or they are the liar. They cannot be the one that tells the truth. So I was thinking, with this fact in mind, if I ask the Knots Watcher and the Stone Watcher about the Earth Watcher, if one of them says that the Earth Watcher is the truth teller, then I found the liar, because the Earth Watcher cannot be the truth teller. Unfortunately though, the Knots Watcher says that the Earth is the liar, and the Stones Watcher says that the Earth is the half and half one. So neither of them actually claim the Earth Watcher is the truth teller. So <laughs> I was kind of back at square one. Which leads me back to my original conclusion that most likely the Earth Watcher is the half and half one. And when they say that they themselves are honest, they must be lying. Because we know they cannot be the honest one. So then when they also say that the Knots Watcher is honest, that must be the lie. Or wait, no, if... But if what they tell about themselves is the lie, then what they say about the Knots Watcher must be the truth, right? If they say a little bit of both. If what they say is half a lie, half true, then... And what they said about themselves must be false. Okay, I've thought about this backwards and forwards and sideways and upside down, and I don't freaking know. I, I don't freaking know. I still, like, think for some reason that the Knots Watcher is the liar, but I can't honestly even explain it. I just tried to explain it, but I had to cut out my explanation because it made no damn sense, and I kind of like almost talked myself out of it, so I don't know. I'm just gonna say that the Knots Watcher is the liar, and pray to... pray to something that I'm right. Here we go. You are the traitor! Spare me. Don't tell the Inquisitor on me. Who knows? What if you regret your cruelty one day? You're coming with me. Oh my god, please tell me I was right. Please tell me I was right. Please tell me I was right. Are you about to fall? Oh wow. Forced to jump? Also, did you see that face? Did you see that face up there? Creepy, like, zombie face. Uh, <laughs> did I get the right one? The renegade was uncovered and is liable to whatever punishment the Inquisitor may choose. It will feel particularly rewarding to bring the coward to justice. So, yes? The quest is not marked as done, though. You found out everything I needed you to. That will do. Cheer up. These things happen. Why was the punishment so quick? An unfortunate accident. I'm truly sorry that everything turned as it did. I was going to question the Honorable Executor thoroughly tonight. Or perhaps the poor sap saw it coming. So he jumped off of his own free will. What do you think? Um... I kinda slightly regret turning him in now. I think poking my nose into this was a mistake. Whoa. What? What is this? Hmm? Yeah, remember this icon in the bottom left of the map? I, I think I clicked on it like once or twice, only to say that I didn't know what the point of it was. I believe it displayed a picture of... A, uh... A picture of, like, bacteria, medicine, and... I don't, I don't know what the other thing was. A key or something? But I didn't know what any of that meant, and now it's... Now it's different. Now it's... 
town. I see the cathedral here. That's the abattoir, and that's just the rest of the town. What does this mean? Is this like building a picture of what's going to be left in the town? Like... Do my decisions from this point forwards influence what the town looks like? Am I, am I shaping the town? It's so creepy the way the game just shoves this in my face. It just opens it up and it doesn't explain anything about what the hell it is. Okay, so did that finish it? Since the moment I arrived in town, the Watchers have been there to spy on me each and every step. All in accordance with instructions from the powers that be. I'm simply an out-of-favor bachelor. In over my head. This all seems too much for a small town backwoods place such as this. What are they really looking for? Okay, so I think I actually found the right one. I think? It doesn't explicitly say that I found the right one, but I'm pretty sure it would tell me if I found the wrong one. So, yeah. I think I did it. Somehow. I don't know if I actually did figure it out, but I simply couldn't explain it well, or if I didn't figure it out and I just got lucky. I don't know. I guess I can breathe a sigh of relief. Sort of. All right, well, it looks like we can talk to Aglaia about Peter Stamaton. There's little time left, and I still need to do so much. Maria is planning to visit Peter Stamaton, the one whose life you saved. If you wish to see your niece, you'd better hurry. I can't appreciate your help enough, Bachelor. I won't forget your service. I'll come by to see your tearful reconciliation. Should I actually go there? I think I should pay a visit to Peter. After all, Maria deserves to know the real reason of this incidental family meeting. It would also be interesting to learn the result of it. I feel I'll have to spend a hefty measure of smelling salts to find out. Okay, do I have enough time to go back there? Uh, yeah, got an hour and a half. That's just about all I have time for, though. Oh god. Oh my god. I thought that hit me. I got lucky. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm being chased by a plague rat of my own. I've got things to deal with, people to see, places to be.
about an hour left. Uh, why can't I move on my own? I will never forgive you for that. You brought her here. I wanted to reconcile you two. Oh, how naive you were. Did you really trust her? Tell me, did she hypnotize you? Can simple trickery like that really get to you? You could have ruined us all. Or maybe you have. Peter is out cold now. But what if he comes too? Wait, what, what are you saying? What if he comes too? So she's saying, she's implying that if he wakes up, that might be the ruin of us all. Why? What is it going to tell her? Is it going to tell her about his creation? His grand creation? Is that what could ruin us all? Did she interrogate him? She doesn't have to. One look at these chambers and she realized everything. Oh, what have you done? Now she knows all about Peter. Good thing he's unconscious, but it won't last long. We need to call for help. Shit. Well, I could use more information here, but I guess I have fucked things up. I already regret my choice. Forgive me. If you want to make up for it, take her away from here. Now. I can't do it myself. I wanted to call someone for help so that they would distract her with troubling news or something. I'm not sure how to read this line. Okay, I'll do it. Just don't cry. Oh my god? Oh my god, what? What? He's not unconscious. What? She's looking at the design. I am not your enemy. We'll strike an alliance against a common foe and justice will prevail. I was just helping the owner come too. He's been telling quite compelling stories. Such as? Just about his works, mostly. How he breaks the laws instilled by nature itself into the fabrics of the earth. A clear-cut militant Theo. Theomacist? Theomachist? Not quite sure how to say that. Non-servium and all that. A curious one. Such specimens are few and far between in our enlightened times. What is that gleam in your eyes all of a sudden? Just thinking. Thinking of how similar people's fates turn out. We've had so many bright stars of talent rise recently, you know. Almost all of them try to single-handedly break the laws of history, nature, morality, and all treaded such identical paths. What did you two talk about? Just asking him about the blueprints, and he keeps saying he doesn't know what those are and doesn't want to know. A sudden memory loss. He's staring at the walls like he used to see through them before. It was a good choice to come here. A good choice indeed. He was right about to remember, but then Maria came. What happened between you? Just nothing much. Maria burst in, then ran out in tears a minute later. We failed to make peace. It's a pity that everyone sees an enemy in me. Such is the bias against Inquisitors. I only wish to do good. Not specific targeted good, like that Clara, but overarching good. Clara, have you met with her as well? Why, of course. We spoke on this exact topic. I hope to convince the child of some self-evident truths. She's another vivid and interesting character in this. A uh, medieval type. Passionate. Self-contradictory. It's as if she's not of our time. Uh, but that's just minutia. Uh, actually, I've come to inform you that they're waiting for you at the cathedral. There's already a throng of terrified petitioners gathered. Of course, of course. I have great sympathy for this man, Peter Stamaton. He must be taken care of. In any case, thank you. You've accomplished something great. Even if it may not look so at first glance. Allow me to thank you for the service. Are you in need of anything? 
Oh god, she wants to give me a gift for me, I guess, fucking over Peter or something? I, I don't know what the hell I've just done. Well, if she's offering something, I might as well take it. It's not going to hurt anything to take it, is it? Hmm. Well, they definitely don't need a new weapon, so it's either vaccine or antibiotics. I'm good on antibiotics, so I guess vaccine. Uh, white vaccine. I wrote about it in the reports. Two doses, preferably. I've been told you confiscated several today. Oh, I've got no room. Let's dump the Twilight extract. Okay, what did that do for missions rarely fail me? What did that do for the quest? Hmm. It seems that setting up this meeting was not such a good idea. But why did Aglaya say that the fate of the settlement depends on what she and Maria will have to tell each other? Apparently this situation is less of a family affair than it first appeared. Yeah, what the hell have I just done? I don't even know what I've just done. What is this vaccine, though? Actually, before that, uh, we only have a little bit of time left in the day. Let me make sure. Let's talk to the other people in here. Truth is foundation, and the reason of the perfection of beauty, old boy. How are you? Have you come to? Tell me what happened. I had a vision, old boy. When I learned about Sabrov's secret plan and realized that death was truly knocking on my door, I had a sudden urge to quench my thirst once and for all, so that I wouldn't have to come to my senses until my very death. But I've told you that you're safe, haven't I? The Inquisitor guarantees you protection from Sabrov. Yes, I was soon notified of your intercession. I'm ashamed to admit that I saw an obvious omen in it. I see omens in everything these days, old boy. And so I thought that I was burying myself prematurely. There must be something else for me to do. A calling. And it was a happy thought. And so you imbibed some more? And so I indulged in imbibing. How could I not? But this time there was a purpose. You see, I've witnessed the clear image of my future creation at the bottom of the bottle I'm so fond of. Have you seen the chalice on the opposite side of the river? The one that overcomes gravity and captures dreams? Um, what? The chal- what chalice? Do you mean the polyhedron? I, I don't see how that could possibly be considered a chalice, but that's the only thing I can think of that he's referring to. Captures dreams. That is what the polyhedron does, sort of, right? Everybody sees their own reflection in it, the reflection of what they want to see. I guess I'll say I have. I'm assuming he's talking about the polyhedron. Soon, I shall erect a new chalice. A chalice to surpass the present one many times over. Twyrine Sap has taught me to look at the three common dimensions from a different angle. It turns the recipient inside out, playing with density and transparency variations. Do you understand? Not a single word you're saying. Oh, it doesn't matter at all. But when I had a complete image in my head, uh, a calculation, a design, a blueprint, a scheme, you know, I raised my eyes, and I saw the Angel of Punishment upon me. Her gaze has burned me through, her smile turning my dreams to naught. These angels always accompany the type of creativity that looks for inspiration at the bottom of a bottle. And she said, I know who you are, you are Peter. Upon this stone you have erected that which should never be. And then she leaned over to me, her carmine lips parted, and her kiss, her kissed, her, her kissed, what? I think it's supposed to say her kiss, I don't know why it says kissed. Her kiss would have drained my dream for me forever. I know it, for it was the angel of doubt, 
a demonic temptress of hesitation. Actually, you know what? D is D is right next to S. I think that's supposed to say her kisses would have drained my dream from me forever. Yeah. So she's the angel of doubt. Huh. Please get to the point. But then I heard a waft of a familiar power. Maria stormed in and fought the demon. Their naked bodies intertwined, their white hands tearing at each other's throats, their slender tongues stinging one another. And then I fainted. And now, here you are. What did the demon look like? She had a terrible and powerful presence, like Nina used to. The ceiling here is low, but still I could see a silhouette above her mortal coil, its head blending into heavens. She... Hey, here she is. Look, she's still here. Devouring my designs, licking them away line by line. Peter, Peter, come round. What's wrong with you? Damn it, he's delirious. So, the Inquisitor is a woman. For real. I'd like to have a look at her. Yeah, this one, if you notice, this one is finished. I guess this is the one that's already up there, the polyhedron, I suppose. But this one, it's not all filled in, it's just a sketch. And he did say he's building another chalice, so I guess this is the old chalice. This is the new one he's planning, perhaps? Premonitions rarely fail me. Alright, now what about Maria? Have I really... Oh. Wow, she's gone. Okay. Have I really ruined the town by the Inquisitor's doubt? Just doubt was enough to ruin everything, really? Let's take a look at this white vaccine. The final variant of the organic vaccine. A unique prophylactic drug based on the live culture of the sand plague. Even if one's immunity is completely suppressed by the infection, given a safe environment, it will be restored in 25 minutes. Maintains one's immunity in infected districts for four hours. Okay, good to know. So I guess the blue vaccine is like the old version of it. Yeah. Alright, well, I guess we are done for the day. What a confusing and strange day. I don't really know the repercussions of what I've done. The whole Peter Stamaton and Maria and the Inquisitor thing, I don't know what I've done there, but it feels like I've done something bad. Giving the, uh, the Executor up? Was that a good thing? I guess I kind of needed to, to complete the quest for the day, right? What? But I just don't know if I should feel good about this day or not. At least all the main characters made it out alive, except for Ava, but it seems like that was unavoidable. Okay. Uh, my hunger's pretty high, so let's eat the food I have. Health is low, immunity mediocre. Exhaustion, fairly high. Infection, fairly low. Uh, let's boost my immunity with Twirine Extract. There we go, immunity's maxed. Let's take... I should probably save it. Let's take two Meridorm and then sleep. The day is over. Your timely efforts allowed your supporters to remain unharmed. A new mind performance is being rehearsed at the theater. Let's sleep for two more hours. That only took my exhaustion down to about halfway. Let's get it up some more. Okay, exhaustion pretty much at the minimum. Infection is uh, not too bad. Immunity is pretty good, health is pretty good. Yeah. I think we're good enough to start moving around. Although I feel like I should sleep for another hour to get more of my health back. Get more out of the Meridorm, you know? 
Eh. Nah, there's never enough time. There's never enough time. Let's not potentially waste it. So, quests, no quests, letters for day eight. Nope. Wait. Have I already read this? I have not read this. No, I, I have not read this. I guess I just received this. The evening letter from the Inquisitor, day seven. Yes, they've played a cruel joke on us. You know, Dankovsky, there are costs involved in being who we are. People like us, ingenious to an extent of being dangerous, are always put on the front line. They set us goals which are as pointless as they are impossible to achieve, in a desperate bid that we figure out how to deal with them. We are a low-value card which may be of use if it wins, and worth no regret if it is beaten. Having been made aware of this attitude, we have no choice but to avenge it. I detest hypocrisy, as do you, I believe. Let us make the hypocrites regret their sanctimony. Their smug self-assurance is based on their deluded belief that we will not be able to carry out their orders. Did they advise you to deal with the plague in a manner your conscience would suggest? Do that. Have, have no fear. I've been told to eradicate the disease at any cost, and as elegantly as possible. This is what they are going to get. We'll discuss the matter tomorrow, however. This was my desperation speaking. Burn the letter. Alright, so Aglaia is saying... The people in power have sent us here... On a task that they believe is impossible. A task that they believe we'll just... Burn ourselves up on. Waste our life and end up dead or, or beaten. But... What Aglaia is saying is let's make them eat their words. Make them eat their thoughts. And let's do it. Let's do the impossible... Supposedly impossible task they've set us. Well, she certainly has determination. Okay, so no letters for day eight. Yeah, no quests. Let's go see the new play. Oh, right, I also need a new map from Little Vlad at some point. Oh, okay. Well, I guess this place is infected. Nope. I don't feel like dealing with you today. I know how celestial bodies work. I know the logic of numbers. Yes, Mom. Solid bodies drown in water. It's a law. Life breaks into particles and is reborn again. It is a law.
Do you see now how many mysteries the Earth holds? The more terrifying the mystery, the deeper it lies, and the fewer wells can reach them. You can trick anyone, anyone but me, the emissary of the powers that be. I know how this world had been built. I know how its life works. I know the laws it operates under. It's supposed to be very simple and proportional. True, true, ma'am. That's what it's supposed to be. True, true, ma'am. That is what it's supposed to be. So let it be. It's not the end of the world. It's just an epidemic. It's gone out of proportion. The law will prevail. I'll restore the balance. Not all is lost. I know where the root of this evil lies. Hmm. Anything to say to me now, Mark Immortel? What? Oh yeah, I think there finally is a conversation. See who my audience is now. They rarely applaud. They never call Encore. But they also never boo us. And as you can see, we have a full house every night. <laughs> Your audience is the dead. Yes, the whole ordeal is surreal, but you seem to be unfazed by it. Oh, I thought that was an actual conversation. How come I can never have a conversation with you, Mark? The foreman has hooves for feet. Someone who saw it told me he does. All right, well... I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I am going to go around town looking to see if I can uncover today's quests before letters arrive. And also, looking for some food. <laughs> <laughs>